Hi, my name is Nicole Okren. Uh, I'm 33 years old. I am a content creator, I am a writer and a podcaster. I also am a co-founder of the Creator Union, which is a union for influencers and content creators. Me and my co-founder, Kat Molesworth, were always talking about starting a union. And it wasn't until the start of the pandemic in the summer when everything happened with the murder of George Floyd and Black Lives Matter movement coming into the forefront of people's minds. Everyone was online looking to content creators, looking to influencers who were all there sharing their own experiences, but also being there as sources of entertainment, knowledge, education. And so we felt that because so many eyes were on us and so many brands were looking to work with us, that it felt time to uh, come together uh, and support ourselves and the industry that we want to work in. The main goal for us is to kind of create a more inclusive space for content creators and influencers, but also mainly get us better working conditions. I manage my mental health and well-being by really focusing on what I love to do, balancing out the difficult times with the joy as well. I think when you're in a job like this, you you tend to really enjoy sharing, sometimes oversharing. Um, so I tried to really balance that out with honesty, but also with a lens of positivity as well. Resilience means to me drawing from feelings of hope. I think inner strength has always come from hope for me. I think that, you know, the fashion space, body positivity in general has changed quite a bit, you know, since I started sharing my um, outfits online. I remember the very first blogs that I read were often by plus size women who were sharing their incredible outfits, and which is kind of how I got into blogging as well. The Creator Union's main goal is to uplift um, content creators from minority backgrounds. Uh, I think the great thing about influencer marketing and authenticity marketing and all of those things is that we we connect to people and that's really changed the advertising and marketing space so much over time so you know when i was growing up i didn't see half of the people on my tv screen or you know in film that i see now on my social media feeds for example so for us, it became a real priority to make sure that we were supporting, you know, disabled content creators, LGBTQI plus content creators, you know, black, brown content creators, because those are the people that tend to be left on the back foot when it comes to things like payment, anything from knowledge around contracts, those kinds of things. Uh, so I've been wearing Doc Martens since I was in high school. Uh, I've got my first pair with me actually, uh, which are these. They're the 1490 10 eyelets in an oxbud color. I have long been a uh, emo kid at heart. I was really into punk as well when I was growing up. I still am now. Bands like the Sex Pistols and the Ramones and stuff like that. I knew when I was a teenager that I had to have Doc Martens. And I knew that, you know, my meager allowance wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't allow me to get them so when i found them in a charity shop i was so thrilled i was really really excited yeah they've been with me to lots of gigs lots of festivals as well when i was a teenager i grew up in northern virginia which is just outside of washington dc so i have been to warp tour hf festival you know bands like good charlotte blink 182 and now they've come with me to london as well so um, we've seen a lot of things here too and I think that's the great thing about Doc Martens is that they last, you know, a lifetime. To me, they feel like the most sustainable footwear because not only do they get better over time, when they age, they're more comfortable. They're the longest lasting footwear I have in my wardrobe. So it's been a great journey with me and my dogs. They've made me feel capable. And I think that's kind of what I like to reflect as well in, in my fashion and when I share my outfits um, is that strength and that resilience, that capability with a bit of fun as well.